Greetings today from the Source NY Meta Energy Studio in Poughkeepsie, New York. I'm Dr. Stacy Lamar. It is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. Happy New Year, all. Happy New Year. We have left a seven year and we are moving into, and we are now in the year of an eight. Eight being infinity. Infinite without boundary, limitless potential. Okay? Using the Orosoma bottles behind me, Vicki Wall's Incredible Living Energies, continuing um, in that legacy by Mike Booth and his people. The message that I'm receiving today that I want to share to the collective is using B17, the bottle behind me, B17. The name of the bottle is the Egyptian bottle or the Troubadour bottle. I am going to tell you that this bottle 17 is violet on the bottom and green on top and it, it corresponds with in the tarot uh, the major arcana card 17 the star all right and i'm going to show you the tarot card the star with the art artistic work um, from pamela matthews so that's the star this message is really relevant to me, and I have set the intention that for all you light workers, star seeds, people that are awakening to your own true sense of mission and purpose, you're going to see this video today, and it's going to resonate with you, and you're going to share it with others because it's time in this new calendar year for us to become more comfortable in our spiritual skin, speaking and living by our mission and purpose in human form, okay? And the star bottle helps me to explain this message. The violet on the bottom and the green on top. Okay. Let's start briefly. Let's just do a quick recap of the 2020 pandemic. And everybody that's lived through it has, by one degree of separation, lost somebody or knows somebody that passed away or got very, very ill and might even remain ill as a result of the pandemic. Okay. 2020 was a four year and it was a an awakening to our reality that it's time for us to get a little bit more conscious of our behavior and stop floating through thinking that that this earth is going to continue to sustain us without repercussions for our choices. Right. So let's look at 2020 as ground zero for this message. And here we are. Four years later, coming into 2024, our eighth, numerologically eight year, infinite potential and limitless possibilities that we can now manifest more fully because we have learned so much surviving a pandemic. Being put into a one year forced pause has brought people to a place of becoming more attuned to their deeper sense of spiritual understanding of themselves. And through um, a more profound global uh, meditative process, prayer process, however you want to identify it, we have become more, we have allowed our, our earth, Gaia, uh, to become more connected and begin the awakening phase of which we are in right now. Okay. Personally, and this message is for the star seeds, the light workers, the uh, people that are starting to come out of the closet for their spiritual beliefs and be more comfortable in their own skin, me included. When I wrote my book in 2020, 2021 or 2020, I can't remember what it was right now. I went out on a limb in my own comfort zone and put on ink that I self-identify as a star seed. And I've held to that truth, but I've always kind of been like, I'm not like a star seed. Yeah, I, I believe I'm a star seed. I believe I have it. And I'm not doing that anymore. It's 2024 and this is who I am. And I am part of the work in progress, just like you guys. I believe full throated that there is star energy within my DNA yet to be admitted by our government, but it's there. I believe at my inner, inner core that I am not 100% human DNA. 
And there are a lot of people like me out there that believe the same thing. They now believe that they ha that we are, and, and governments and theorists are beginning to talk about more openly the fact that we could be a society of, of um, planted technology on this planet, seeded by other species, made in human form, and we are learning to become and evolve as such, okay? Alien technologies, extraterrestrials have been identified on this planet, working with governments, government people have admitted to this, and whether or not you want to believe it or you feel ready to believe it, that's fine, right? There's no judgment here. But what I'm saying is in this moment, coming into the eight cycle, we are being encouraged to speak our truth, own our tr truth, and respect the truths of others, regardless if we agree with it. Hear me again. In 2024, in the year of the eight, the karmic cycle, the infinity, we are being encouraged to speak our truth, to own our truth, and to respect the truths of others. And that's important. Spiritual truth, religious truth, however you identify, agnostic, atheist, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, none of the above, all of the above, it doesn't matter. That person's soul is here on this planet and they have to own their truth and feel comfortable doing it because that's part of their mission and purpose why they're here. And one of the things that we learn from people that are different than us is that it's okay to be different. We learn from those people. We don't have to agree with everything somebody says. You don't have to agree with me, but there might be things that I'm saying to you that teach you something. I hope they teach you something. I'm on this video making, making a, you know, writing, making a video for you guys about the importance of being able to speak and own your truth. That's what the star bottle is all about. All you star seeds out there, all you light workers out there, all of you that have been trying to own your truth, looking for the tribe that fits, trying to become what you want to become, but feeling a little bit hesitant because of fear of, of uh, retaliation, not necessarily um, physical retaliation, but emotional retaliation, fear of judgment, things that are holding you back in previous years. Let's end it now. Be who you are, own who you are, and be able to speak who you are comfortably because that's who you are in your core. It's your essence. It's your essence. So bravo to the people that have broken down barriers around homosexuality, around interracial, um, interracial relationships. Okay. Right now we are seeing more open transgender because that's in their core, it's in their essence, and it's part of the evolution of humanity on this planet. And we have to be mindful and respectful to the fact that things evolve, life is dynamic, humanity and the evolution is dynamic. And in this year of the eight, in this year of infinity, the possibilities are endless, limitless, in spiritual belief and practice. And that's going to be my opener for 2024. I wish you guys a wonderful week and I will touch base with you next week. God bless.